So last time I talked to you guys about the 10 discouraging things that I experienced as a disc golf beginner. Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the 10 encouraging things that I experienced as a disc golf beginner. Keep on watching this video. What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another Just Throw a Disc Golf video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what's up guys? Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm gonna be talking to you guys about in this video is pretty much the 10 encouraging things that I've experienced as a disc golf beginner being three months in, okay? So check this out. If you haven't had a chance to go check out my other video, I already did 10 discouraging things that I've experienced as a disc golf beginner. So be sure to go check that video out first. It may be some helpful information in there for you guys. So go ahead and go check that out. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and jump into number one. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so check this out. Number one on the list is you will meet good people and you will make friends for sure in a disc golf community, okay? Now, what I mean by that is just pretty much once you start to get in the disc golf community or you decide that you wanna play. So what I did was I went ahead and joined some disc golf groups on Facebook. Uh, one of them was the Arizona Disc Golf Group and the other one was the Superstition Disc Golf Group, okay? These are two really good groups in Arizona that I joined on Facebook. What I did was I pretty much made random posts and said, hey, I'm new to disc golf. Uh, I'm going to be throwing at this course. If anybody want to come out and join me or, you know, come show me some things or, you know, maybe get a round in together, I would have really appreciate it. And pretty much once I started posting that, when I first did that, it started with one or two people and then more and more people started to come. So after I threw with the first person or maybe uh, the first one or two people, I started to get more competent. I started to uh, I basically introduced myself. They introduced themselves to me. We got a round in. I asked them some questions. Uh, we got to know each other. And then it just kind of became a habit after that. So uh, I would advise you to go ahead and basically join some of these groups and try to make friends with some of these people. Because believe it or not, a lot of these people are really good people. I have found some really solid people uh, in the disc golf community that I've had over the past decade or so. Uh, you will meet a lot of good people. Uh, there's a lot of fun to have in the process. You'll get to know people. They'll get to know you. You'll really <laughs> find out that you'll become friends with people in the disc golf community pretty quickly simply because they love what you love. You love what they love. You find out that you got things in common and then you pretty much just start hanging out with each other. Okay, so it's definitely a good thing to meet some good people. Number two. It will create a social life for you. So if you are like me, somebody who started off as an introvert, somebody who really don't like to be around people like that all the time, it will definitely get you out of the house. It'll definitely get you more active and involved. I didn't really like to associate with a lot of people in general just because I'm a solo guy. Like I've always been rocking that way. I've never been uh, the type to follow crowds. I've never been a follower. I've always been like a leader, a solo guy, a guy that likes to stay indoors, keep to himself, stay busy indoors, do everything alone. So disc golf has really kind of opened up my relationships with people. It's opened up my social life with people. I now talk and associate with a lot more people. Uh, I go out and I look forward to having fun with the guys out there or the gals uh, out there at the disc golf community courses putting on some tunes, telling them to drink, you know, bring their cold ones because I don't drink or anything, but I tell them to bring their cold ones. I tell them to bring their tunes and I tell them to bring their good vibes, okay? Positive vibes only. I pretty much love to just hang out with the guys, the gals out in the disc golf community and throw, have some good rounds, have a good time listening to music, some good laughs. And it really turns out to be a positive thing for my mental as well as my spiritual space. So it's something that I will highly recommend that you guys get involved with. But not only that, it's definitely something that you're going to experience if you get out there and start finding the good people inside of the disc golf community. It's going to bring out a social life in you, so get used to it. Number three, believe it or not, you will lose weight. And when I say you will lose weight, if you're just as active as I am or that I've been inside of this whole disc golf community thing, for somebody like me, I have been active at least two times a day. But what I normally do is I get up first thing in the morning, 530 in the morning, and I go play around the disc golf at six o'clock in the morning on an empty stomach. Uh, I just take my water with me. You know, I may have some energy bars, maybe a protein bar or something like that for after. But I pretty much go, go do a full 18. Sometimes I might even do two rounds in a row. 
um, of 18 holes, and then I'll do another 18, which is 36 holes. And there's a lot of walking involved when you throw disc golf, okay? So you may be walking up and down some hills on some terrain, uh, walking a long distance, depend on the course. And trust me, guys, when you are carrying heavy backpacks or your backpacks with a lot of discs in it or two big 40 ounce water bottles and you know other equipment like I carry because I love to carry camera gear and all that other stuff it's almost like carrying like a weighted vest around while you're playing disc golf out in the Arizona heat it'd be like a hundred and I don't know it'd be like a hundred degrees first thing in the morning believe it or not sometimes around eight o'clock in the morning it's already like 90 degrees or something like that okay so the later in the day that you play like I do sometimes I play at like one o'clock it's already about 110 115 degrees out there while I'm playing disc golf now you definitely want to stay hydrated because it is dangerous out here in Arizona we basically have had excessive heat warnings so you don't want to, obviously, you don't want to pass out while you're playing disc golf. But for me, as a bigger guy, I sweat a lot. I tend to move around and be really active. Now that I got a cart, even pulling my cart, I, I'm still getting that workout in. I can still feel how my body is super sore after throwing, uh, getting my warm-ups in, throwing my rounds, and then pulling my cart around or walking with my bag or whatever. You're definitely going to lose some weight. If you make that your constant routine every single day to get out, and basically go play disc golf in the morning on an empty stomach, trust me, you will burn calories, you will lose weight. And what I do after I'm done is I pretty much come home and have like a protein shake or some cottage cheese and some fruit or just something that's not going to put a lot of calories back into my body. It's just something that high in protein and basically just have that's really low in calories. And I pretty much just seen progress of me losing weight in the process. All right, so number four for me is you pretty much will learn things a lot faster, okay? And when I say you'll learn a lot faster, I definitely mean that. Being a beginner, getting out and playing with guys that have experience, you're definitely going to learn things a lot faster in a process simply because you're playing with people who have experience. You're out, you're asking questions, you're watching other people throw, um, you know, you have people kind of correcting you or giving you some tips on what you can do better because it's not always about what you're doing necessarily wrong or right or whatever the case may be. A lot of people in the community I have found just offer a lot of tips that'll help you throw better, throw further, or, you know, try to get more arm speed or whatever the case may be. They give you some really helpful tips to help you understand how your display which dish you should throw in headwinds or tailwinds. Um, they even give like a bunch of tips on how you should throw, whether that should be forehand or backhand or whether you should, you know, hyzer around a tree or try to throw it flat or whatever the case may be. So I have learned a lot in the process just from playing with different people in a community. I'm never afraid to ask questions and people help me understand. They always give me helpful tips and it's honestly has made my game a lot better from when I first started three months ago. So I would definitely say it's something that you want to do. Get out, talk to people, find somebody to play with and start asking questions. Tip number five is it can be very inexpensive and it can be fun. Now don't get me wrong. Buying disc can get expensive if you're constantly uh, getting addicted and constantly just going out and buying new discs all the time. There's a group of people that collect. There are a group of people that collect and throw. There are a group of people that just throw in general, okay? So the people who tend to collect, they will go out and just buy discs in general just because they want to have them on their wall or they have like racks, you know, of discs at home, closet fools, trunk fools, and they love to collect discs, so they go out and spend the money on them. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, some discs can range up all the way to like $35. Some, um, I, I don't know if there's any more expensive than that, but $35, $30, $15, $12, $10, $10, whatever the case may be. It's not that expensive, but if you are constantly spending money on discs and you just have a bad spending habit of spending money, then yes, it can be expensive. But for the most part, it's definitely inexpensive. You can go out and buy a starter kit for like, I don't know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks or something like that and get like three, four discs in it. And that's pretty much all you need to get started. You can go ahead and just throw with that until you feel more comfortable. The next thing that you would need to do is start upgrading your individual disc. So you may want to go out and get a better putter or you may want to go out and get a better distance driver or a fairway or mid range. The cheapest that you're going to pay for it is probably $10, $15 in the most expensive probably range around 20 to 30 bucks, whatever. And trust me, the money that you spend in disc golf would be well worth it just because, like I said, mentally, 
spiritually, emotionally, physically, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to be more active. It's a positive sport to get into. So investing in some money into, uh, you know, some disc or gear or whatever to enjoy this sport is definitely going to be worth it. But for the most part, it's very inexpensive and you'll have a lot of fun playing disc golf. All right, guys. So number six, you'll pretty much get your hands on some cool gear. And when I say some cool gear, you'll be able to spend your money and go ahead and buy some nice fancy disc. You may get your PDGA membership and they may send you out uh, your first free disc, which would be pretty cool. Sometimes you'll join your first tournament and they'll have like discs that you're able to get for free in a process, which is really cool right when it's time to check in. I think that's a really cool experience. So if you like to go out and spend some money, you know, you're going to go out and you're going to buy some of your favorite looking discs. Okay. This is a forged error uh, from finish line drew Gibson disc. And this was actually given to me by a really cool 14 year old kid. I, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of has my logo on there. Uh, the just, just throw a disc golf logo. Okay. That was a really cool gift from that kid simply because he's 14. He's really good at disc golf. Shout out to Brandon Neff. He's really good at disc golf, but not only that, uh, this kid can compete in MA1, MA2, MA3, and pretty much win those categories or make top three. And he's only 14, okay? He's a really cool kid, got a nice positive attitude. Uh, even when he first met me, he was very helpful with uh, giving me discs or, you know, just giving me some tips. He was also very positive just about my overall performance as a beginner in disc golf. So I really did like that encouraging thing that he was kind of telling me in the process. It was really cool, okay? Also, in the process, you'll just go out and <laughs> you'll have friends that are going to give you um, certain discs like this. Uh, shout out to James Fisher. He's a really good disc golfer uh, himself. He's kind of one of the first people that actually got me introduced and started uh, in this whole disc golf thing. So shout out to him. But he gave me this passion. I bought a passion and I was like, yo, I'm tired of buying discs on Amazon and getting all these girly looking colors, you know, pink discs or whatever. I said, I just bought a passion and my disc is pink and I'm tired of buying pink discs. So he turned around and blessed me with this one for free. And I thought this is one of the coolest passions out there. This is one of those UV passions. He basically gave me this. You put it out in the sun and then it changes color. It had turned purple or whatever. And I just think that this is probably by far one of my favorite discs. It's really cool. I love the whole UV disc thing like this. So this is a really cool disc, okay? And then you'll get to buy other cool looking discs or whatever. So you'll you'll come across some really cool gear. Either you'll buy it or somebody will give it to you. You know, somebody might give you a bag or sell you a really cool bag that you may have been eyeing on Amazon or somebody may bless you with a really good looking cart for half the price or whatever the case may be. You'll just be able to run across some really cool gear. I've had people give me some disc golf minis, uh, markers to go ahead and mark my disc or my spot of my lie when I'm about to shoot. Uh, it's just really cool things that you're going to get in the process. And that's what I like about the disc golf community. Number seven, the disc golf community is very generous. And when I say generous, they will give you free gear. When you meet people in a community and they know that you're a beginner, or they know that you're somebody who's just starting out. The really cool thing is, is they're going to give you discs. They're going to give you markers. They're going to give you just overall gear and equipment. Okay. Now I know this kind of goes hand in hand with the other one, but what I'm saying is that my main focus is that Going out and buying disc or whatever is one thing. Just to be able to come into the community and have somebody bless you with like 10 discs out of nowhere, that's a really positive thing. That's a really cool thing. I play with a couple guys already. I play with a couple guys already that pretty much bless me with a bunch of discs. Now, yes, I was buying my own discs, but I was buying them brand new out of pocket and I was actually spending more money than what I needed to spend. But I had people reach out to me and was like, yo, don't spend any more money because what you're trying to buy right now, I may have multiple of already, or I have a bunch of discs that are laying around that are pretty much like new that I've never used or that I have used only a couple times and I switch brands and, you know, I'm throwing Disc Mania now or I'm throwing Disc Craft now or I'm throwing uh, Innova now or whatever the case may be. And they'll pretty much just give you those discs or sell you those discs for a little to nothing. 
I'm focused more on the free portion of it, okay? The free portion, I've gotten a lot of this uh, from people in the community. Every time we're about to go throw whatever, they're like, hey, I got a, I got a gift for you. And it's a, it's a disc, okay? Some be brand new, some of them be used, whatever the case may be. Now, I have five kids. Me, my five kids, my wife, we all throw disc off. Even my two-year-old daughter, she loves to stand there and throw the disc or toss the disc around. So she's enjoying it as well. But just knowing that, my family was able to have a lot of disc um, from people in the community. It saved me a lot of money of having to buy my wife and kids a bunch of discs. Now, granted, I did buy them their own sets of discs or whatever as well. But in the process, it was just nice to be able to get those discs for free. And a lot of those discs that you see back here on my wall was also given to me from people in the community. And I like it as my little backdrop in my videos now. So that's a positive. You're somebody in the community, you're new to disc golf, that's one positive that you're going to experience. You may find people that are going to give you some really good gear. Hopefully you get a cart. Hopefully you get a backpack, things that aren't really that cheap, but there may be somebody out there that's pretty generous. Another positive that I want to say is my 12 year old son. Since a lot of people blessed him with disc, we met some new people that we told to come out with us to go throw so they can be more comfortable who are new to disc golf. And in the process, they didn't have any disc. I told them that they can use a disc in my cart. And then my 12 year old son turns around and say, hey, I got a couple discs in my bag that you can have right here, right now. They're officially yours. So somebody blessed him. He turned around and blessed somebody else. That's the positive about being in the disc golf community. Number eight on the list for me is you will always be learning something new. And when I say you'll be learning something new, that's what I mean. Every time I went out to go play disc golf with somebody new, I learn something different every single time, whether that be uh, how many feet uh, you can step in or what OB meant, or you know, um, if you're allowed to step over your, your marker and hold or circle one or whatever the case may be. I learned so many different things on how I should release, when I should release, where I should release, hyzer line, hyzer spikes, uh, forehands, just so many different things about disc golf that I didn't know. I learned tournament things. I learned casual play things. You're going to meet people and they're going to basically give you a lot of information that's going to help you get better in disc golf in general. So for me, for me, every time I went out and played, I learned something new and I couldn't be more thankful in the process. I'm just like, wow, like every time I come out with somebody else, I'm learning something new in disc golf and it's really making me better. It's helping my game. And you couldn't be more thankful. You couldn't be more appreciative of the people who are teaching you these things. Because when I just recently did my first tournament, a lot of the things that I learned from these guys that I didn't even know about tournaments, I learned from doing casual rounds or the people that I met in a disc golf community. So it, it helped me to go in my tournament a lot more confident and actually knowing and understanding what was gonna take place before I joined the tournament, okay? So it's definitely a positive and something that I feel helped me out a lot. Number nine is you can join your first tournament. Now the positive in it is you basically get to go ahead and join your first tournament now, they're going to have different things that's going on in a disc golf community, okay? And in a disc golf community, you may have like league tournament stuff going on or just league play, casual play. So you'll have casual rounds and then you'll have league stuff to where they'll have tournaments every Thursday or, you know, every Monday or something like that. Sanctioned, non-sanctioned, just different things like that, okay? For example, we have something that's called like Thursday Warriors out in Sunray. Uh, at some rate course in Arizona. And pretty much uh, you put in like $2 per person to go ahead and play. And then there's ace pot stuff and all that type of things like that. And you pretty much join this tournament and they do like a randoms double match or whatever. So you, they'll pair you with somebody that you don't know personally. If you want to play with somebody that you want to play with, cool. But it's pretty much a random thing. And you play doubles. You play teams. You and your partner versus somebody else on certain holes and everybody breaks off, okay? The positive about it in general is that you get to go ahead and compete and whoever has like the best score at the end pretty much takes all the money at home or whatever, okay? And they may do CTPs or different different things like that, all right? So uh, they may have an ace pot to where however much money is in the ace that everybody put in for the ace, if you hit that ace, then you basically get to take that money home. If more than one person hit that ace, then y'all basically just divide the money or split the money or whatever. I think that that's pretty cool. I think that's dope. It'll definitely get you prepared for tournaments and things like that. The positive is, like I said, you get to join your first tournament. So if you decide to sign up for a tournament, 
you pay your fee for your tournament, you'll be more confident and ready to go for that tournament by playing with other people in casual rounds or, you know, these little small league tournaments or whatever the case may be. So it's just something that you want to get involved in. Last but not least, number 10 on the list for me is you definitely will have some bonding time with your friends and with your family. If you're somebody who wasn't really active with your family or whatever the case may be, getting involved with disc golf will definitely help you build your relationship with your children, your spouse, uh, your partner, your friend, a friend that maybe wasn't so close to you, you know, a best friend, whatever the case may be, you are going to be able to build your relationship and bond a lot more with them by playing disc golf simply because it just brings that type of environment. It just brings that type of energy and vibe with you and that particular person. Me, my family, we get out and play disc golf. We are more active and closer than what we've ever been before simply because of disc golf. Okay. Now I love my wife. I love my children. We all have our own interests, but disc golf is one thing that we are really passionate about doing together. So we may be working, we may be doing YouTube, we may be doing art, we may be doing, uh, you know, videos or music or whatever the case may be. But as soon as we bring up doing disc golf, it's something that we're all excited about. We all grab our discs, our carts, our bags, uh, some water, some snacks, and we're like, yo, let's go have a casual round of disc golf, okay? And we go out and we have a good time. We'll pull out our phone, record it, uh, you know, doing stuff for our family channels and things like that. But my point is, is that it's really something that's really good to go ahead and help us build our relationship. It's just really good for family. It's just really good for friends. And it's something that's really going to help everybody bond. So I'm really hoping that you guys go ahead and jump into the disc golf because it's definitely worth doing. Okay. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. What are some encouraging things that you experience while being a beginner in disc golf? Whether you're a beginner or, you know, somebody who's been playing for a while, I would love to know the backstory of what you personally felt was very encouraging for you to go ahead and continue to start playing disc golf. For me, that was just a list that was narrowed down into 10, but there are so many more other things that I could have added to the list, but I wanted to keep it short. With that being said, guys, I truly appreciate you guys watching my video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I'm really trying to grow this channel. I want more beginners to feel more confident uh, in playing the game and be getting involved and just going out and being a disc golfer in general. So if that's you, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Even if you are more experienced and you just want to know what it's like for me as a beginner to be on my disc golf journey, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share these videos with other people. And guys, as always, if you're new to disc golf, pick up a disc, don't stress and just throw it.